Did you know the first brain surgery was done over a thousand years ago by a Muslim from Spain? And he was a mathematician? The year is 1013 in the bustling Andalusian city of Cordoba. Suddenly, a loud crash is heard and a crowd gathers, shouting for a doctor. A man has cracked his skull open, which would have been a death sentence. However, the father of modern surgery is there to save his life. In the golden age of Islamic medicine, one name stood above the rest, Al-Zarawi. Not just a doctor, a surgeon, scholar and inventor. When trauma struck, he didn't guess. He had a plan. The injured man lay unconscious. His skull was fractured, shards pressing into the tissue beneath. Al-Zarawi examined him calmly, then opened a chest of tools he'd designed himself. Hooks, scalpels, a curved saw called a trepan. With steady hands, he removed the damaged bone. No anesthesia, no sterile gloves, just deep knowledge and practiced precision. He cleaned the wound with a vinegar-based antiseptic, applied dressings, and gave careful instructions to the man's family. He would return daily. Infection was the real threat. In another case, Al-Zahrawi described relieving pressure from fluid buildup in the skull. He drained it, carefully, and documented everything. His work in Al-Tasrif included illustrations, safety warnings, and procedures still echoed in neurosurgery today. But his name faded from Western history until now. First brain surgeon in history, and no one told you his name. Follow medical school historian for the stories buried in the archives.